talk about pollinator conservation. Now, when most of us think about bees, you likely think of two things, honey and beeswax. But what many people don't realize is that about three quarters of the food items you're likely to consume in a day or reach in your refrigerator for are actually thanks to pollinators. And just one example is bees. So some of the things out here is everything from um, berries to nuts and sunflower seeds, um, apricots, apples, squash, broccoli, asparagus, all of our lovely herbs that we enjoy, whether it's oregano in a pasta sauce or uh, lavender in bath salts. We use all these things and they're thanks to pollinators. And um, because it's that time of year where you're thinking about what kind of seeds you're gonna buy and what kind of garden you'd like to have this year, we'd like to show you some ways that you can promote um, bee conservation and um, help support those beneficial pollinators that we really just can't live without. So today, I have a guest, Brian Campbell has joined me, who's a bee master that works locally here uh, in near my Vancouver neighborhood. And he's gonna show us some tips, again, our favorite how-to videos and really easy things that you and I can do in our own gardens, whether it's your personal backyard, um, your community garden, or even in your schoolyard. So welcome, Brian. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my kitchen. Um, what we're gonna start with today is just something as simple as a bird bath. Right. but something for bees. Uh, water is very important for many of the beneficial insects that we want to welcome into our garden. So how would you set up a bee? I've got sort of an example started here. Right, so this is a, a great bee bath, just a shallow dish or bowl with some rocks in it and some water. Uh, the rocks are uh, little islands for the oh, beneficial insects to land on. So don't submerge. Don't submerge them. Yep. Leave a little bit on the top for Okay. Them. And just any wa water uh, out of the tap or hose yeah, any, will do? Yeah, any tap water okay. or any kind of water would be, be fine. Oh, that looks good. Okay. And then what you'll, what you'll see is, if you have a problem like aphids or something like that, if you put a, a bath, a little insect or bee bath, where your problem plant is. Oh, great, okay. You will attract those uh, insects to drink from there and the water is going to help them lay more eggs and... To uh, combat that to pest combat, that you right, might have. They're also called a blue orchard mason bee. So they're generally blue in color. And the main principle is you want a six inch long cavity that is five sixteenth of an inch in diameter, which happens to be... An HP pencil. Yeah, just use a pencil as a uh, template okay. and just roll it out and uh, you could pinch. They like the end to be closed off. So you okay. could just pinch off an end and uh, tape that the corner, the yeah. corner and then pop the pencil out. Mm -hmm. And uh, great activity for kids. Yeah. And uh, they uh, cut off the top of a milk carton. Reuse a milk carton, yeah. And uh, put the paper tubes inside the milk carton. Okay. And put it in a sunny location out of, out of the rain. Okay, so yeah. under uh, even like an uh, eave, an or, eave or, or... Yeah, south or east facing. Is, south or east facing best. for the entrance, okay. Yeah. And it can be, um, I've seen suggested like either eye height or s no more than like six feet tall, right? right? Yeah, and uh, mine are right by my front door. Okay, well thank you so much for your help today. Well, this was a you. lot of great information and okay. I think people are already keen to um, do something in their backyard and, and for bees as well. Thank you for having me.